Numbers Chapter 24 And when Balaam saw that it pleased Jehovah to bless Israel, he did not go as at the other times to meet with enchantments, but he set his face toward the wilderness. And Balaam lifted up his eyes and saw Israel dwelling according to their tribes, and the Spirit of God came upon him. And he took up his parable and said, Balaam the son of Beer declares, and the man whose eye is open declares. He declares, He who hears the words of God, who sees the vision of the All-Sufficient One, falling down, but having his eyes uncovered. How fair are your tents, O Jacob, your tabernacles, O Israel! Like valleys they are spread forth, like gardens beside a river, like aloes which Jehovah has planted, like cedars beside water. Water shall flow from his buckets, and his seed shall be in many waters, and his king shall be higher than a gag, and his kingdom shall be exalted. God is the one who brought him forth out of Egypt, he has as it were the horns of the wild ox. He shall eat up the nations, his adversaries, and shall break their bones in pieces, and shatter them with his arrows. He couches, he lies down like a lion and like a lioness, who will rouse him up. Blessed is everyone who blesses you, and cursed is everyone who curses you. Then Balak's anger was kindled against Balaam, and he struck his hands together. And Balak said to Balaam, I called you to curse my enemies, but now you have altogether blessed them these three times. Therefore now flee to your place. I said I would greatly honor you, but now Jehovah has kept you away from honor. And Balaam said to Balak, Did I not also speak to your messengers whom you sent to me, saying, Even if Balak were to give me his house full of silver and gold, I could not go beyond the word of Jehovah, to do either good or bad from my own heart. What Jehovah speaks, that I will speak. And now therefore, I am going to my people. Come, let me give you counsel as to what this people will do to your people in the last days. And he took up his parable and said, Balaam the son of Beer declares, and the man whose eye is open declares. He declares, He who hears the words of God and obtains the knowledge of the Most High, who sees the vision of the All-Sufficient One, falling down, but having his eyes uncovered. I see him, but not now, I behold him, but not near. There shall come forth a star out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel, and he shall crush the corners of Moab, and break down all the sons of Sheth. And Edom shall be dispossessed, Seir, his enemies, shall also be dispossessed, while Israel does valiantly. And one from Jacob shall have dominion and destroy the remnant from the city. And he looked on Amalek and took up his parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall come to destruction. And he looked on the Canites and took up his parable and said, Strong is your dwelling place, and your nest is set in the rock. Nevertheless Cain shall be burned until Ashur carry you away captive. And he took up his parable and said, Alas, who shall live when God does this? But ships shall come from the coast of Kittim, and they shall afflict Ashur and shall afflict Eber, and he also shall come to destruction. And Balaam rose up and went back to his place, and Balak also went his way. Numbers Chapter 25 While Israel dwelt in Shittim, the people began to commit fornication with the daughters of Moab. For they invited the people to the sacrifices of their gods, and the people ate and bowed down to their gods. And Israel joined itself to Baal-peor, and the anger of Jehovah was kindled against Israel. And Jehovah said to Moses, Take all the leaders of the people and hang them up to Jehovah before the sun, so that the fierce anger of Jehovah may turn away from Israel. And Moses said to the judges of Israel, each of you slay his men who have joined themselves to Baal Peor. Just then one of the children of Israel came and brought a Midianite woman to his brothers in the sight of Moses and in the sight of the whole assembly of the children of Israel, while they were weeping at the entrance of the tent of meeting. And when Phinehas the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, saw it, he rose up from the midst of the assembly, and took a spear in his hand. 
and went after the man of Israel into the tent and pierced both of them, the man of Israel and the woman through her stomach. So the plague among the children of Israel was stopped. And those who died by the plague were twenty-four thousand. Then Jehovah spoke to Moses, saying, Phinehas the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, has turned my wrath away from the children of Israel, in that he was jealous with my jealousy among them, so that I did not consume the children of Israel in my jealousy. Therefore say, I now give him my covenant of peace. And it shall be to him and to his seed after him, the covenant of an everlasting priesthood, because he was jealous for his God and made expiation for the children of Israel. Now the name of the slain man of Israel, who was slain with the Midianite woman, was Zimri the son of Salu, a leader of a father's household among the Simonites. And the name of the Midianite woman who was slain was Cosby the daughter of Zur, head of the people of a father's household in Midian. Then Jehovah spoke to Moses, saying, Harass the Midianites and strike them. For they have harassed you with their deception with which they have deceived you in the matter of Peor and in the matter of Cosby, the daughter of the prince of Midian, their sister, who was slain on the day of the plague in the matter of Peor.